Peace and love, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Um, I wanted to come on here and update you guys on what's been going on. I did have a doctor's appointment today. Well, first, how is everybody doing? How is everybody feeling? Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're in high spirits today. I am doing well. I don't have no complaints right now other than the fact that I am so exhausted and I feel so tired and a little bit drained. But I have to clean up my house and I just went grocery shopping so I can't just lay down right now and just rest and it's just me. So I feel deeply inclined to clean up my house, honey, and get my space in order, even though I really just want to lay down and go to sleep. But the baby is doing well. Um, I did have a doctor's appointment today. It was virtual and it was really mainly geared towards um peace grand afternoon everybody i hope you had a lovely day um the the appointment was mainly geared towards my birthing plans what that's gonna look like who can be in the room all that good stuff so i wanted to come share with you guys because i know originally we didn't know how that was gonna look or as far as who could be in the room we didn't know what that was gonna look like and i actually hadn't spoken or spoke to anyone about um, my actual birth plans other than the fact that I wanted to do the water birth. So, here we go. Well, first of all, I'm over here washing dishes. So, y'all gonna have to talk to me while I wash my dishes, honey. Because that's just what it is right now. But, um, anyways. Can y'all see? Okay. Or is this light doing too much? Because it might be doing too much. Okay. So, as far as the birthing plans are concerned, um, still going to do the water birth thing, still at the top of the list. But, after speaking with my midwife today, she did explain to me that they've never really had this problem but because they are just now getting back into the swing of things with the whole um, water birth at the hospital that I'm going to be at, they only have three tubs. They only have three tubs that they rotate out between the women. And it has never been a time where it has overlapped. But if in the event it does, so let's say there are three women that go to the hospital the same day that, I'm, that I go into labor, um, coincidentally, and they are um using the tubs and i go into labor and i come in as the fourth person i will more than likely not be able to do the water birth because they don't have no tubs to go around and they don't want me to um you know come in with high hopes or thinking that i'm going to be guaranteed a tub in that you know just in case so she let me know that you know, that's never happened before. Everything's usually pretty smooth and they've never had a situation where four women that are having water births go into labor at the same time. But if in, the, if in the event that that does happen and I'm number four, I will not be able to do the water birth. But if that doesn't happen, then we're geared to go pretty much. Um, let's see. She also told me that I can have, well, she asked me first of all, if I was going to have a doula or had I already gotten one. And I told her no, you know, after not being able to do the at home birth thing. And um, just for, I can't really, really, really remember what my reasons were for not getting a doula. Other than the fact that I will not be doing a home birth. So I felt like the emotional support wouldn't be needed for real. Um, that I was pretty much coaching myself through this whole entire process. Mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. Um, but she, I was explaining to her that I did not have a doula, um, that I could think of that I wanted to use, especially being that the one that I had moved to South Carolina or the one that I felt like was in alignment with me. She doesn't stay here. She's in South Carolina. And then my best friend gave me one that she was going to use. Who's, you know, really into the whole holistic and naturalist movement and all that good stuff. She's in Washington, DC. So I just canceled out the whole idea of having a doula because I don't want to try and form a relationship with somebody last minute and I'm unhappy and I pay my money um, and that kind of thing. So I just canceled that option out. 
But as I was talking to my midwife, she suggested that I look into getting a doula, even though I am at the 30 week mark. She said that it would still be enough time for me to build rapport with one. And um, she thinks that it would be very valuable. I told her that I was just going to try and coach Carlos into, you know, um, what I was looking for so he that him and I could be in alignment during the labor and delivery process. But she said that um, it's new for him too. And with that being said, seeing me in that, at that level, of, in that uh, much pain and, you know, the smell, um, that's all going to be a lot for him, you know. And so the doula will be there for emotional support for the both of us instead of just me necessarily. He may need the emotional support as well because this is new for him too. So I thought about it and I'm like, okay. And she gave me some options. So she's like, I really think that you need to work on trying to get a doula or somebody in that room that has that experience um, during your labor and delivery. Also, because of the fact that it is a water birth and I'm going natural, she feels like, you know, I, I don't really, I'm going in not really knowing what to expect. Even though, you know, you can study and you can do all these things, you still don't fully know what's going to happen, what that's going to look like, um, and all that good stuff. So she suggested, you know, which I'm open to suggestions that I get a doula. But y'all, since I have decided... Since I talked to her and I started researching and looking, it's a bunch of, I'm not being funny. It's a bunch of white doulas out here and I'm not, I don't want to get somebody or pay money for somebody to support me emotionally, which I'm not saying that they will not be able to, because there are probably some, I'm sure that there are some great women out here, white women that are doulas that can provide that service. And be, you know, right there with me as far as where I need them to be. But personally, I would just rather have a black doula um, for several different reasons um, that are personal. You know, my own personal reasons. But I would rather have a black doula. And also, I would like for her to kind of know a little bit about, um, know a little bit about the water birth aspect of it. And then also, I would like for her to be you know, into the whole natural and the herbal way of doing things and the holistic way of doing things. But I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding somebody here in North Carolina that aligns with that. That's not going to cost me an arm and a leg, you know. Um, I'm literally like every doula that I've looked at so far are not in alignment with me. And it's looking like it's the starting prices are like at $1,500. For like an hour session. I'm like an hour? What is an hour going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what's going on. But it's not making sense to me. Like if I'm going to pay $1,500. I'm going to need you there during the labor and delivery. And then afterwards. I'm not like needing you during my whole entire pregnancy. I'm 30 weeks. So from now until maybe two, three weeks after the pregnancy. I might still need you. But for $1,500 in just one session. That's that's too much. So I don't know what that is honey. Who got that type of money? So, um, now I have been put in a position to try and figure out if I'm even going to do the doula thing because of the cost. Like, I'm not being funny. I'm very practical, as y'all know. And I feel like I've worked very hard to control my breathing, to find my peaceful place, you know. Um, and my whole reasoning behind not getting medication or doing this naturally it means a lot to me like my values mean so much to me and i don't care what the case may be it's not happening like i'm not you know a lot of people are like you know you never know what's going to happen i completely understand that and i am open my mind is open to things happening maybe not the way i want them to i'm going to tell you for a fact i know for a fact i can't control my breathing and keep myself at a in a state of mind where I'm calm enough to give birth to this baby, no high blood pressure, no none of that extra stuff that I can actually control. Um, now I can't say, you know, what the room is going to be like knowing now that I don't have control over whether or not I will be guaranteed a water bath or not. But the stuff that I can control, baby, I know, I know for a fact, I'm not getting no 
medication. This will be a natural birth. There will be no cesarean or any of that stuff going on. It's, it's just not happening. It's just not. Um, so now I'm just, I don't know, like I'm kind of stuck feeling like I really do feel like I need a doula and want a doula, but I'm not finding what I'm looking for right now. And I'm not going to settle either. Like, I'm just not going to settle. It's just not going to happen. Now, the good thing about all of this is that my mom can be in the room. So I can have two support people of my choice, which is going to be Carlos and my mom. And I am so excited and so happy that she can be in the room with me now. Like, it just warms my heart. It actually almost made me cry when she told me that I can have her in there. Because going through that experience without her, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. But then when I talked to my mom, she told me how scared she is, you know, being that I am. She said that she feels like she's a doula for epidural mothers. <laughs> She is more of a epidural doula, you know what I'm saying? She can co excuse me, she can coach the moms that's had a little bit of medication, but it's gonna be different being that I don't, I'm not doing any medication, and then you know, she's trying to coach me through this. But we laughed about it because you know, she was saying, Well, you know, you're a little different from your sisters, like you're my middle baby, and me and her are really close, we really are. Um but she talking about getting in the tub and I'm like, well, they're going to be asking, escorting you out. And she talking about passing out, honey, you, this tub is not big enough for me and you. I'm just, so I'm like, maybe I do need a doula because mama's already showing some overwhelmedness. Okay. With the natural process and the water birth and just everything. So I'm really just kind of like, okay, maybe we do need that third person in there. Even though I'm going to have my mom now, it's still just kind of like, huh, but I'm starting to feel almost pressed and pressured to have somebody or that doula in there, you know, that has that training in there. But I refuse to settle. I'm not going to settle. I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. If I don't feel like we, you know, we kind of mesh or we're not in alignment together, I can't see myself just going with the flow for the sake of, I'm, I can't do that. I need somebody that's going to be able to advocate for me that understands where I'm coming from. That is really just, you know, into in tune with the whole herbal side of things and trying to do things natural and on board with it and have had that type of experience with these type of women and pregnancies and birth and labor and all of that stuff. I need that. I need that. And more than anything, I need somebody that is my skin complexion that has been through this. Like, I, I don't know how important that would be to, you know, somebody else. But to me, that is very important, like extremely important to me that I have somebody that is that I feel like I can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even being funny and I'm not taking anything away from the the certification or the classing or the, the education that any of these other women have had. But personally, I just feel like I need that. And most of the women that are in alignment with me are not here. They do not service women here in this in this state. They service women that are closer to them because it is something that, you know, you need to be able to see your doula. You need to be able to feel their energy. You need to be able to transfer that energy. They need to be there with you emotionally, you know, for that support. And so... The two women that I'm interested in are not here, so I can't use them as an option. So I have to just kind of swallow that and move on. But I am happy that I can have my mom in here. And I know I just rambled on a lot, but I would like to know y'all's opinion. And if you are in the state of North Carolina or you know somebody that is willing to travel, which I'm sure that's going to cost money even more money if they're willing to travel to where I'm at. It's like the, the bill is becoming higher. I am, um, we are having a little boy, so he is having a, um, he is getting a, um, what's it called? Um, gosh, I cannot think right now. Um, circumcised. He is getting circumcised. I'm not going to argue. I know most people are like, Quita, how can you be so you know, in tune and you're going to get your son circumcised, blah, blah, blah. 
it's just something that I feel like I want to do. His daddy and I have agreed on it. I'm, he's getting it clipped. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just going to happen. Um, and he'll be just fine either way. I know he'll be fine with or without, but we're just going to get it clipped, okay? And that's just the end of that. Um, now, as far as, uh, you know, the, the, it's just everything is starting to add up. And then, too, like the last time I talked to y'all, well, let me see what y'all talking about with the doula stuff. So, we're on the same page. And then, I'm going to tell y'all what else I've been thinking about lately that I cannot make my mind up on. And uh, i just been, been really like, this week is really starting to make me feel like crunch time is here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're coming to the end of the race. You know, um, we're, we're rounding that, that end corner point. So, it's really time for me to start setting up and just getting ready mentally and physically, seriously, prepare for him. Um, and that includes his little nursery area or whatever I'm going to decide to do. So, let me just see what y'all saying. Woo. I always wanted a doula, but never got one. Not sure why I did, and especially for my last baby. I think you should still get one. I know everybody always forget about the fathers in the process, and they're going through it too on a different level. Facts. Search for African doula. Peace. Peace, auntie. How is everybody doing? I agree, I didn't want a white one either. Even though my kids are half white, they are expensive. <sighs> yes, I'm happy. I'm so happy mama can be in there, but she is showing me signs of anxiety already. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have to figure something out for her too, um, because I know this is different. I'm her first kid, I'm the most different of my sisters. So I know that's a lot for her too. Um, and then the fact that I'm not going to be, which I, I told her that I'm not going to be in there hooping and hollering and yelling and screaming. That's just not going to happen. I'm not about to be, you know, causing myself to be anxious. Like that'll just defeat the entire purpose of all this breathing I've done. And, you know, learning to ride the wave out, which is kind of how they told me to think about the contractions as riding a wave and, getting through the first one and moving on to the next one and remembering my purpose. And that's the most important thing for me. And I feel like, you know, I'm very um, in tune with my, with my mind and my body. And I know how to breathe things down. And then, uh, too, I haven't um, been taking any medication, even though I do feel a little bit of back pain every now and then. Um, cramps, little small cramps, but I've cho chose not to do any type of pain medicine, even when I have experienced pain during my pregnancy, um, just to prepare myself. And I've never really been a medicine type of person. I just don't know. Too much stuff is in it, too much. So I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm going to be, be just fine, you know. Um, yeah, mama said only epidural. She's, she's a epidural doula. Okay. And she started talking about getting in the tub, honey. And I said, okay, see, at this point, they're going to be like, ma'am, can you please put your, can somebody get this lady some towels? I'm going to be billed for extra towels because mama want to get in the tub. And it ain't enough room in the tub. What are you doing in the tub, honey? Get out the tub. So we laughed about it, but she is, um, she said she's going to have to prepare herself. And she's happy that I told her, which also I've come to the conclusion that my labor is going to start here at home. Like when I start feeling contractions and I start counting the distance between them because I am going to pace my contractions um, and count them. Like as far as how far apart they are, um, I'm going to force myself to sit here at home majority of my labor you know um so right before i start to feel like okay i'm feeling extreme pressure and it's causing me to want to push because i don't stay that far from the hospital 
I think what I'm going to do is do most of that laboring or that the part where, you know, you're going through the pain and all that stuff. I'm going to do that right here from home. And then once I feel like I'm ready or I'm starting to feel like I want to get myself in that space to really just start to invite that energy for him to just come or I feel like he's ready to come, then I'm going to go ahead and go to the hospital. We stay like 10 minutes, 12 minutes away from the hospital. So, and Carlos drives like a freaking maniac. So we'll get there in like eight minutes. Um, so there's no problem with that, but I'm definitely, like I told her, I'm gonna have everybody come to the house once I start to feel like, okay, y'all know it's time. My water has broke. I'm experiencing contractions, so y'all can come to the house and I'm gonna have everything nice and clean um, and comfortable for everybody, but I'm gonna have all my sisters and my mom here during that process. And then when it's time time, then we'll just go ahead and leave from here with my mom, me, Carlos, and my mom will leave from here. And then my sisters can disperse or whatever they want to do. Or if they want to stay out here, they can. That is an option for them. But um, that's that's how I'm planning on doing it. And <laughs> my mama said, no, she, she was like, no, I don't need for you to be waiting too long. And we end up having to deliver this baby, you know, right here at the house. Which I'm not, that is not the plan at all, you know, to, to go through that process. But... Um, here at the house, but I know my body and I think that I have gauged things pretty well thus far. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I know, like once I start to feel a level of pressure, that's like, okay, he's coming. I feel like I'm having that, that feeling to want to push or, you know, the ring of fire, as they say, if I'm feeling any of that, I'm, I know, okay, it's time to go. It's time to get up out of here and go do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Bring this baby into the world. But I think as far as all the contractions and pacing myself, I'm going to do that here at the house because I don't need them telling me, girl, you need to go home. You only a centimeter dilated. You this, you that. I don't need that. So that's going to stress me out more than anything. And it's going to piss me off. And having to transfer that energy with doctors and the midwives, I'm just trying to eliminate anything that's going that I know is going to alter my mood. And then two, it's also going to stop them. Like if I come in, where it's technically too late and it's time for me to start pushing or um, I'm right at the edge, they're not going to be offering me the epidural at that point. Um, and that's really what I'm trying to also, although I've told my midwives and I've explained to them, I don't want the epidural and I don't want nobody to offer it to me either. They still offer it several times, even though you tell them not to. It's like they want you to be sure you don't want it. Didn't I tell you no? So hopefully they don't get the words from Quita because I done told you no. But that's that as far as that's concerned. Um, now I did want to talk to y'all about, baby, these sleeping arrangements. Okay, first of all, let me just take a second. Let me take a step back and say thank you. I just want to take a step back and say thank you so much. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me get y'all right real quick. Woo! Hold on. Got to get y'all right. Because I can't lean down no more. My body is saying no, ma'am. No, ma'am, Pam. Okay. going on okay, I can't believe that just happened give me a second y'all trying to pick this thing up some well you know what I'll just scoot y'all back that'll work okay so okay so um let me just take the time out to say thank you so 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 much to miss kendra first of all for the love donation that you sent um and then to miss pat because um for ordering the baby stuff off the registry and then also to um my best friend for the baby swing and to miss ruth auntie auntie maddie 
let me just say thank you so much because Auntie Maddie is the reason why we were able to purchase our um, baby's stroller and car seat, which will be arriving on Monday. And it is so beautiful. I'm so happy with the type that it is. I got the exact stroller and um, car seat that I wanted. And it was a little bit more on the expensive side, but I'm so happy and so thankful for her um, for providing us with that love donation. Like, uh, y'all don't even understand. I am and um, very grateful for all of you and everything that all of you have sent. But thank you so much to Auntie Maddie for that. We really appreciate it. We love you so much. And he's going to be able to use this for a long time. Um... If not the car seat, definitely the stroller. I'm completely in love with it, and I'm so grateful. So thank you so much to everybody for that. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I don't really know specifically what you got, Pat, but it did let me know through my registry. Like, it sent me an email saying that you purchased something, and it just put your first name up there for me to know. But So thank you so much. I really appreciate you and love you so much. I'm excited to see what you chose i mean I've, i'm always excited to see what you guys chose for him um because it is like a full list of things and it's like you can just go in and pick little stuff that you like personally so it always makes me excited to see what you all chose for him um so thank you so much i really appreciate it we are all very grateful and if you could please um if i mentioned your name or you have sent something to the p.o box i don't know because i have not been i'm sorry i will go to the p.o box and check that out um, if you have sent something, please send me your information so we can add you into the people that are about to receive their boxes because we were going to start shipping out the boxes soon um, for the baby shower game. We have not forgot about y'all, the winners of the baby shower games and also everybody that sent us their, um, that sent the baby something as our little thank you and our party favor for our virtual baby shower. So don't forget, please send me your information so we can send you something too. Woo! That was a lot. But, um, gosh. Oh, I didn't lock it in. But that's that. I just wanted to take the time out to say thank you because I am very appreciative for everything y'all have gotten for a baby. We really are. And I'm going to show y'all his new swing, too. I just put it together, and I'm so happy about it. It's so stinking cute. But I did want to talk to y'all about a dilemma that I'm having because the last time we spoke, I told y'all that we were going to do, like, half and half with our bedroom, turning his one side of the bedroom into his nursery, and then the other side of the bedroom will be ours still or whatever. Um, and then two, I was thinking about getting a recliner, but I spoke with an older lady today that told me, do not do the recliner, instead do a rocking chair. Because if you do the recliner, you're going to get comfortable and fall asleep with him, and then he's going to become very dependent on sleeping with me. Um, so the rocking chair will be a better option so that I can just kind of have that moment and then put him back in his bed so he can sleep by himself. Um... <coughs> Uh, I thought that was a great idea, um, you know, as far as the rocking chair is concerned. So I'm going to start looking up on Facebook Market and let go and places like that for a used one. And then I'll probably just paint it or, you know, make it customize it a little bit, put a little cushion in it, make it comfortable for me and him and um, use that for us, you know, breastfeeding or just when I'm putting him to sleep or just spending some time with him. Um, but I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what he's going to sleep in. It's like, I have looked, I, because I, you know, I have received gift cards from you guys. Um, I've received gift cards from you guys from Target and love donations. So with that money, I was going to try and get him a, um, like his bed set up. You know what I'm saying? I, we were going to just go ahead and purchase his organizers or whatever you know with our own money but with the money that you guys have sent us i think it's a, a little over 250 dollars so we were going to use that to um purchase his bed um yeah his bedding what he's going to sleep in and that kind of thing 
But y'all, I've been looking and first of all, we don't have no room for no big baby crib. The cribs are just way too big. They're too big, they're too bulky, and because we will be moving out of here and moving to another state, I don't want to have to carry that all the way, you know, to another state. Like, I need something that's going to be compact and convenient for him, but also have his own space. So, I was looking into some of the stuff you guys sent me on Instagram, and I just cannot make up my mind. Like... I, I just can't I can't figure it out and it's like I don't want to waste money by getting something that I don't feel like he's gonna sleep in or it's gonna be uncomfortable for him but I know I'm going to have to kind of train him um into sleeping into whatever it is that from day one you know when we come home I'm gonna have to train him to get on the boob and then okay let me change you and then you got to go lay lay it on back down you know what I'm saying um but I'm having a hard time y'all I don't know. So if y'all could please send me some emails so I can kind of figure out what it is. I looked at Target's website and I'm still just not satisfied with some of the um, options that I've seen. I do not want to do a pack and play for him to sleep in. I never have liked that as an option for babies to sleep in. Um, I just, I don't know. I just don't, I don't like the pack and play. The pack and play is about as big as a crib and I don't want to do that either. So I'm having a hard time, so help a sister out. Help me try and figure out what it is that I can do, um, because I don't know. I don't know, but um, I have been thinking about it, and I just need y'all's help on that. So, so, just send me, you know, some options if you can, if you will, please, and I would definitely and greatly appreciate it. But yes. Um. I'm going to show y'all his little swing that I got for him, which the swing is like a bouncer and a swing two in one. Uh-oh. I ain't leaking yet, y'all, but. So let me show y'all what his little swing looks like because I was able to put it together finally. Hold on, let me flip y'all around. And then turn it around on you. Let me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't know what just happened. I meant to. Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. So he has like a swing. And this comes off. And now he has like a bouncer. So it's like two in one. And I thought that this would be a good idea, you know, for him to have. Very excited, very thankful for my best friend because she got this for him. Or really her baby used this and she got too big for it. The baby's one now, so she just passed it on down, honey. And I thought this was nice. Okay. And it just locks in just like that. But I thought this would be like a cute, cute little option for him to have. Very grateful for her. Woo! For doing that. Sorry, let me zoom back out. But yeah, so I was like, he's definitely going to need that. He's probably going to spend a lot of time in that, especially when I'm up and I'm moving around and I'm busy. And I just need him to still be content. That thing right there is going to be perfect for rocking him back and forth. I have it because I need to clean the refrigerator out. And I couldn't do that with all this stuff on the counter. Well, it'll be okay. It's going to go in there in a minute. And it's not even warm yet. But see all this stuff in here? Um, and it, boy, don't come in here trying to regulate nothing. Because I just, I'm, I, I don't even have the energy. Me neither. So, don't, yeah. So, got the energy my way into it. Right, I bet you are. You really don't need to. You heard what I said. But let me know about this bed situation, y'all, because I really don't know. Oh, hey, Miss Pat, thank you. 
Okay, so the rocking chair is a good idea. Definitely going to do the rocking chair instead of the recliner. And then two, it might be cheaper. Like, I don't know what I was thinking when I was thinking about getting a big recliner for me and the baby. Like, girl, that's too much. But the rocker is a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, in my price range. Like, it's, and I can use that for years with him, you know, past one, like when he's two or so. Years. So I thought, you know, great idea with the rocker. Um... But let me know what y'all think. Get a play pen. I don't I don't want the pack and play. I really I hate I hate the pack and plays. But I don't know. Like I see a lot of people use the pack and play as like bed for the baby. And I've never liked the pack and play. Like <laughs> I don't know why. It just I just don't. I don't I've never liked the pack and play. Okay, the Halo Swivel Bassinet. I did see that one. And I thought, that's kind of small, you know? Like, it is kind of small to me. Even though he's an infant, he's a baby, he's going to be able to fit in it for at least his six months. It still just looks so small and so tiny to me. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really, I'm, I'm maybe I'm being too picky. Maybe I'm doing too much. But Target definitely had the Halo Swivel Sleeper thingy. Um, I do not have a bassinet yet. And I'm, I've am i been... Um, I have been trying to figure it out. I don't know. I just... I don't know what my problem is. I feel like it's me. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But I even tried to bring Carlos in on the situation. And everything that I showed him, he was just kind of like, mm, like, mm, like, no, nah, you know? So, I don't know. Maybe it's not just me. Because he's not really picky at all. So, for him to say no to certain things was like, okay. Maybe it really is a no. Or maybe it sh really should be a no for now. Um, okay, we got cheese for that. I'll put that on that row. Um, got biscuits, juices, since this is already open, that's already open, this was barely been used, this was barely been used. hard for me to get down there and be trying to get back up but let me just put these in here Alrighty. okay I can't I can't I really just can't right now I need to cut this pineapple because it's ready it's been ready it's beyond ready it's rubber ready let me move y'all closer down here. Sorry, y'all. But okay. We were gonna eat hibachi tonight. So I made Carlos get these carrot chips. And they're really fine. The angel hair um, coleslaw or cabbage. Got some mushrooms. That's my meat. I'm trying to stay away from meat. 
or really cut it down so low that I really don't even need it. Got the jasmine rice. I love my fruit though. So I definitely got a lot of fruit. I don't know what this is, but on here it's saying something different than what I actually um they're not peaches though. Um gosh, it says something different on here. Like it's in its Spanish name or whatever. I don't know. But got that. Got some more lemons. Carlos is going to try and put together um Carlos is gonna try and do the lemon, the lemon, the lemonade for the um for our get together or our function, our little event, our garden party event. So I was gonna let him do that. Okay. Got me some roasted pecans, some Cajun, Cajun cashews. These are so good, like from Harris Teeter. Some mandarin oranges. I only eat the ones that are in glass. I can't, I can't do those ones that come in, um, that come in, um, the ones that come in a plastic, but they have seeds in them. So as you can see, some of them do still have seeds in them. So these aren't no GMO fruits, honey. It's the real deal Holyfield, okay? See, I ain't got to worry about me eating stuff that don't got um, seeds in it. Not happening. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, my other fruit must be over here on the floor. Um, this is our first time trying this, but it's the Florida Naturals apple juice. I don't know. Carlos suggested it. I do love apple juice, so and I also got me some grapefruit. I also got, I mean, um, ruby red grapefruit juice. No sugar added is the one that I need because I try and. Cut back on that sugar, honey. Trying to cut back on the sugar a little bit. Um, I don't need it. And I'm also trying to cut back on the sodium as well. So, trying to stay away from that stuff. Got us some peppers, which I need to take these peppers out of this. And put them in my bowl. But... I'm back to eating healthier, okay, than I was. So it's gonna be a lot of saute and vegetables going on around here. A lot of saute vegetables because baby is on the way and I need to start preparing my body to naturally detox itself with the fruits and vegetables. No heavy meats, no hormones, and that kind of stuff. So, that's why I've been um, doing my vegetables, honey. Gotta get your vegetables, honey. You don't need this. Okay. Throw this in the trash. I need to go ahead and use the rest of this spinach before it goes bad. Might make me a little salad or something. A little salad to hold me over, honey. Let me see what else we got. Ooh. Let me see what y'all saying, cause I'm not even paying attention. You got some bacon, baby. Babe, you got bacon. You got some bacon. I didn't even see you on grab no bacon. Let me see what y'all. I'm over here looking like, honey, Raggedy Ann 
from the from the sad land. Um, you can purchase the dot tot. Wait a minute, mommy, silly mom for life, honey. You know everything that I need. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. My son is nine months and he is still sleeping in it. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, he's going to transition to a crib soon. Well, that's good if it lasts for not, you know, to up until the ba baby is nine months. Yes, apricots. That's what that is. Those little tiny orange peach looking things. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, this right here i told myself i was gonna get rid of this thing that picture but it still goes with like my rug and this freaking what's it called that i got but the hand on the wall um honestly it has several different meanings but to be straight i think it's supposed to be like because it has the evil eye in the center so it's supposed to be like a protector of evil energy and that kind of thing. And then also supposed to um, help you with like, um, oh my gosh, I'm so rusty and crusty. I honestly fell out of love with the whole ideology of the Hindu religion and their practices, even though, you know, the whole meditating and the yoga aspects of things is kind of still in alignment with me. I really just, I, I just don't even keep up with it no more, honestly. So I honestly couldn't tell you other than to protect you from um, negative energies. Oh, I'm sorry about your nut allergy, girl, because you're missing out. I love me some nuts. The crunchy ones. <laughs> Not the other kind. You can't pay me to lick the other kind. No, TMI. Um, but yeah, peace. Thank you. I got that bowl with the bananas in it from my mom. But I love a good fruit bowl or fruit basket. I actually had a company reach out to me and ask me to do a review on a fruit basket. And they ended up in my trash pile for some reason. And so, yeah. Also, Celestial Soul just gave me some in-depth information. I know I was advocating to you guys to drink these. But, nope. Not a good idea. Not a good idea to drink those. They're not good for you. They're actually pretty toxic. Baby, can you hand me that in that screw? No. That fell off of here. No. That nut and screw. Put that right there for me. She told me that they're actually pretty toxic and they are made from pressurized carbon dioxide. And that's what we're getting. That's what we breathe out. So it's like, why would you put that back into your body in a pressurized form? I, I thought about it like, Quita, this is so contradictory. You know, these carbon waters or carbonated water, sparkling water, however you want to look at it. Why to would I do that? Try you know, y'all see me trying to tell. I was talking. I'm trying to, to finish this box, and then that's it. When I finish this box, that's it. I'm I not, said, "Baby, look it up." Don't even... I didn't even, I didn't even um, buy any more after this. Like, and then I took some to my clients. Boy, shut up. And then I took some to my clients. I think it was on live work. too. I was talking. We was talking about it. It was on live. Just tell the people, hey, you gonna get on there talking about other stuff. I already said hey to the people they seen you earlier. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Celestia, so I seen you up there. Who? My my is. Who's that? That's the people that we got. No, that's not it, Carlos. Oh, that's Florida Naturals. But is that the is that the people with the um glass? I ain't no Florida had apples. I know they got oranges down there. Is that the people with the glass um apple juice? It comes in like a little round apple juice thing, and it's so expensive for like one. I'm supposed to make some uh, lemonade for a Queen Little Vendors event. I'm about to order these pouches in a minute. Green uh, beans. We had um who's the lady sitting on? Oh um that was Auntie Ruth. 
Auntie, Auntie Maddie. Auntie Maddie had uh, and then also um, sent a nice Kendra. little uh, Kendra donation for the baby. And we use that donation to go ahead and get the car seat in the uh, stroller. Car It'll seat be here on Monday. And y'all keep ordering all this stuff for the baby and, and Quita. Don't forget, I gotta carry them too for y'all. Nice. Yeah, I'm, but I'm not. I'm gonna get them something to uh, a little daddy book bag. You know what I'm saying? Be on the chest, son, right there. When we go, he right here with me. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, Carlos does want his own um baby satchel. Like Carlos the little satchel. baby satchel. Baby carrier, but also y'all do not eat the green beans out the can. Okay? Just just don't even don't even eat the green beans out the can. Don't eat the beans out the can. Look. Look, 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 look. You can go and you can buy your own dry beans and fix your own dry beans. You can eliminate the sodium. All that processed stuff and the aluminum from that can, honey. You like black beans? Get you some black beans. I thought you know what I'm saying? Not bad. You, need aluminum. you don't need it to be wearing off of your food. Huh? Yeah. Metal Get your green beans, like your fresh green beans, baby, and put them in the freezer, okay? Like put them in your freezer bag. Put your fresh green beans in the freezer, baby, and take them out as needed. But y'all got to stay away from them cans for real. Even if you want to put your or can your own green beans, that'll be a smarter idea than buying the ones that are already pre-canned. I'm just saying. Just if you can. But I'm not judging you. What'd you say, baby? His wife didn't told us at the store that we, we got to move out of this apartment pretty much. She told us that... Uh... <laughs> She's like, y'all got a two bedroom, so just keep the baby in the other bedroom. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep. Carlos is stupid. And then she was like, yeah, because you don't want your baby to get attached. So the white lady had gave us a um a whole down Carlos. spill on how we should um well it must it might have been a good message because I was trying to figure out how you not spoil a baby because I don't want none of that. Mama, mama, mama. I don't want none of that. I want uh, a well put together young man, you know. But uh, she was like, uh, when you don't let the baby sleep in the same room as you, even like, you're gonna hear, he's gonna hear everything. You're gonna be able to hear the baby crying and stuff like that, as long as you keep the door open. But it also um, get you some plums. It helps him with this attachment, you know. It helps them. Some people have attachment problems as kids, and I, I ain't trying to create that kind of problem. And some peaches. Get your plums and peaches, baby. So she was giving us the, hey, how everybody doing, Miss Beverly? How you doing? Hope y'all ladies having a good day today. My day being okay. I can't. It's finna hey, get Beverly. better. Hey, Beverly. It's finna get better. Peace, love. Baby, what else you got over on the table? Everybody. Oh, I did give me some oatmeal, too. Yeah. Now I know it's probably not the oatmeal that people. Got some lemons. She told y'all. You told them about the where well, I got the lemons for. Yes, baby. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I might, I might order a lemon squeezer. Get that real lemon juice out of there on them. And um, I bought them jugs of water. Carlos bought these for me too. Show them what you got to do. Oh, I was some new stuff. trying to pick stuff up. We had, uh, you got some new stuff I ain't never tried. Just trying to get out of there. I don't know how that's going to taste, but it can't be too good for you. Oh, my gosh. It can't be too good for you. So why would you get me that? Because it said real fruit. With your bean head. Well, you know, people lie about all kinds of stuff. It says real fruit. Okay. Give me those elbows. What you making, macaroni? Okay. I got all the stuff. Let me see the can. What can? I'm going to show you all the secret now. They're for all 82 people in the room right now. Don't tell nobody. Nobody. This is the secret to the macaroni right here. This is the secret. Don't tell nobody now. Don't tell nobody. I hate that cheddar cheese. No, she don't. She no, eat, I do. She eat that macaroni so fast, she can't hate it. Oh, baby, we're doing a hibachi tonight, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that out. You said you're cooking it. I'm not cooking it, baby. Y'all, 
Honestly, no, for real. Like now, I'm about to tell. Cause you've been telling, and you've been playing. No, I'm about to tell. Cause I really want hot meal. I don't want to. You think it's funny? You think you're cute? No, I say the sandwich, the sandwich, lunch meat. I'm not eating no another. He wants me to eat a cold cut sandwich, turkey sandwich. We owe our sons for some cold cuts. I be telling her when I don't want no stinking cold cut sandwich. I asked him to. When we make certain purchases, I say we just gonna have to eat some cold cuts to make it back. I think about the lowest meal. We haven't made no purchases. Yes, we have. We just. What we just buy? Cause yesterday I ate a cold freaking it's cut. The, it's that pregnant pregnancy stuff. Yesterday I just ate a cold cut. We just bought a whole vehicle last week. Love. We just bought a whole vehicle last week. And you say we ain't made no big purchases. Oh my gosh. This is I know, bring it back. I'm talking about on food, boy. I wasn't talking about food. I want a home cooked meal. I made me some food the other day. It was good. It was some pasta. I really wanted some pasta and I made it from scratch. No meat. It was like a vegan type dish. Very good. Now I asked him. But I didn't. I wasn't. You know hungry. what I'm saying? If he could make us some, um, I asked him if he could make us some, uh, chemically treated. Before we even left the house. Sodium. What's what's chemically and chemically that, treated? That funky cheese. That funky cheese is, is is chemically treated, ain't it? That Campbell's chicken soup cheese. Well, macaroni ain't good for you from for the get go. So. If you want some million dollar macaroni, I'll That's why when you. I first seen it, that's what he put I in. And I was like, let me just act like I ain't even see this. Because I'm, I'm about to. I'm this just trying is to, I'm trying to lead you to, lead you to the finish line. That's all. That's all you need for Give the macaroni. This. No, this, I'm drinking this. You want something here? There you go. I asked him before we left the grocery store, baby, you gonna cook hibachi tonight? Blue Whatever blue. you want. Get the stuff for the hibachi and now I gotta eat a cold cut? See, some, some people don't got a choice but to eat a Carlos, cold cut Carlos, what you gonna today? do instead of cook? Tell them you know what, what you saying? gonna do instead of cook. What you mean? What you got planned instead of cook? If you don't come in here and cook the food for us, right. but which I've been standing up on my feet and cooking when? for myself. When? Cause it ain't like he eats my cooking. You been standing cooking for yourself when? Every time I have to come in here and fix something for myself to eat. Just like the other night I cooked. Yo, I cooked for myself. Now we don't eat at the, you know, the low down places and stuff like that, but we always eat out. And when we eat out, it's on me. That's me cooking. You feel me? No, that's not you cooking, damn it. Cause if I go out and cook and eat. If I, if I when I, make, we went if I to go get that, when we went money, and got that rotisserie chicken sandwich. There, if I got to stand there and make When we money. just got that rotisserie chicken sandwich this week, that was me. Okay. When I sat there Chick-fil-A to get myself something to eat, that was me. Okay. I didn't ask you for anything. So that's just this week. I, when I cooked that's in this, this kitchen, week. that was me. That was this week, right? When I had to fix myself a cold cut last night, that was me. That's not the point that I'm well, making. You are not. You haven't cooked for me. He has not cooked for me since the last video that he that he has put up here. Other than the baked beans that he fixed for everybody, he act like he can't fix that that hibachi, and you should have never agreed to it. Now I got my mouth fixed for it, and I can't get it. You can. I told you you can. Unless I stand in here and cook it. After I just washed the dishes and did everything else. I got the dishes. Don't worry about it. No, I don't want you to wash no more dishes because everything is done already. And watch how you pushing me too. Bro, don't even worry about it. Just go ahead. Just go find yourself. Go good. Go get on the game because that's what you're going to do anyway. Bring the bread over here. Bring the bread over here. Clean your mess up and get out of my face. That's more like Just get out of my presence completely. She ain't want to be a mom. All the mom, they be cooking for their kids every day. You talk about two times out the month. You mad at me because I don't want to cook every to you. day. You don't cook at all. Most, most guys don't even know you how to cook. You don't cook at all. Most guys don't even know how to cook. What are you talking about? You're talking about I don't cook at all. I told you we got them sandwiches up there. I need to try the apple juice celestial so for real because I already know. She's going off on me. Right, that's the you right. What Celestial. You so the only canned foods that are good for you are the rations that you need if something happens, okay? Emergencies only. That's uh green beans. And that, that canned cheese is emergency only. I don't eat macaroni every day or once a month. I, I mean we rarely eat it. So I don't yeah. even worry about it. I'm don't not worry about it. What? Don't worry about it. I'm not I'm done. I've been done talking to you. 
being done talking to you. But um, yeah, I'm going to um, I'm not. I already know I'm not about to stand on my feet any longer than I already have. I got you. I don't know what you think this is, but I just won't be having hibachi tonight. I'll be finding something else to eat. Let me order you something. No, I don't need you to order me nothing, cause now that's gonna be that's you cooking, right? I mean, what you thought it was before? Bro, leave me alone for real. <laughs> cause I'm really trying to eat better for our baby. Right. Instead of eating out all the time and have other people fix our food. Okay, you went to Chick-fil-A yesterday. Okay, for a French fry. Process, it's either going to be these processed fries or the ones that they got over there. You got fries in the French fry. The Didn't I just say it's going to be these processed fries or the fries that they got in there? Yes, ma'am. So, leave me alone. I apologize. It ain't like you cutting the fries and using the fry cutter that he bought from Amazon. Don't even about, use that. I'm about to order a lemon squeezer. How about that? Peace. Huh? You want to tell them that? I'm about to order a lemon squeeze. Yes, we got all the vitamin C. What are you I need about? that stuff. Mm -hmm. Try and keep your, um, I try and keep myself clean. Immune system on point. Man, I can't believe this. What's wrong? I'm not talking to you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about when I came in here and washed these dishes and got the kitchen clean, thinking I was going to have a meal and I could sit my tail down. You can. Carlos, please stop, for real, because you, know you about fast, to make, you know how fast turn it I, into a fight. You know how fast I can make you a sandwich. Didn't I just tell you I don't want no damn sandwich? I, I keep telling you we owe our son a couple of sandwich nights. If I wet them with the dishwater, I'm going to be wrong, right? No, nah, we both going to be wet. I don't care, because I'm about to get in the bath anyway. My feet are hurting. Well, sit down. No, I'm trying to finish cleaning up my house, sir. And I still have to vacuum the floor. What you want me to do? I want you to come in here and prepare this food. I'm going to do that. Because you should have never lied. I didn't lie. Yes, you did. I did not agree to do, eat no cold cut with you. I changed my mind. Now the trash got to be taken out. Now I got to take... I'm Don't get yourself on the car. <sighs> Let me throw this in the trash. You want to go ahead and take that trash out? I mean, I don't, but I guess I do. Is this too heavy? I don't think I'm going to eat the rest of this. Is it too heavy already? No, I'm just double up bags. That's all. Let me see what y'all saying. Are they mad at me? He ain't going to do nothing. He don't want to do nothing. He, he ready to go sit down and get on the game with his friends. Like, that's all I do. Buy Wild Planet brand you tuna. You want me to go find something else to do other than play the game? I need to, um, I, I do, I did think about adding tuna back into the diet. I'll find something else to do with it. But, I just can't take the smell. I can't take the smell. Carlos on the sofa. Yeah, that's where he need to be. Yo, what up, bro? How you doing today? Yeah, he gonna look like Carlos at this point. I don't even care. I give up. He just ain't gonna act like him. Who you at too? He might look like him, but he ain't gonna act like him. Just like his baby. Hmm. He can look like him all day long, but he ain't gonna act Ooh, like him. There. Where you at? Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. He done work my nerve down to the gristle. You, ready? you know how you eat the chicken down and there's really no meat left yeah, on it but the gristle? He don't work my nerve down to that point. To the gristle. There's nothing left. Some people even eat the gristle, honey. So Darius was coming over. Oh, now Darius coming. Now I'm really not going to eat. Ooh. So might as well look like, looks like we'll be ordering food after we just bought all of this food. If Darius is coming over, now he's about to do his music. So let's just go ahead and hang up eating 
Let's hang up Carlos fixing us food. Yeah, let me take my And even when his company comes over here, I treat them good too. Baking them cookies and shit. Make sure they got water and so they comfortable. What you do? I mean, with these, that you know, that's you know, right. That's, that's the only friend I have come over here. So no, you don't do anything for my friend. You just leave the room and give us some time. That's all you need. No, that's not all I need. I need for you to get all your shoes out the floor. Why do you got one, two, three, four, five pair of shoes in here? Same as you got three pairs in here. That's why. No, I only got two pair of shoes in here. I can't count. That, that looks like four pairs. You see it around here? That's because I just took them okay, off. That's why, that's why my shoes right there, okay? You may just come off. I had them on earlier. I came back and put them just on. Just get your shoes up out, out of that's here. That's all you got to say. And then know. hurry up and then clean up the table since you're about to have company. You should be the main one cleaning yeah. up. Queen. No. Talk to the people. No, I'm not, because I'm irritated yeah, now. I'm not even going to get my food. Well, good. You need to feel I what I feel. Be good when I get upset. Boy, bye. No, you ain't going to hurt nobody. I ain't going to hurt nobody. Turn this to Y'all hear him. Same sound. It's going to be a same sound. <laughs> they said, Carlos, OMG. All that racketeering coming out of there. He don't care. He don't care about that. Nope. And he's not going to be quiet. Nope. Listen to him. See, he might. My son might look like him, but he damn sure ain't gonna act like him. My son ain't gonna have to deal with this. I'm gonna be like, son. Deal with what is this? Cause I'm his mama. You pregnant right now? He ain't gonna have to deal with you pregnant. Me do. Me do, and me don't make it no easier, me, do you? Me, me don't make it no me. easier on me self. Quit playing. You act like I don't do nothing for you. I ain't nobody say that. Stop. Say you always. You love to do that. I mean, but you definitely pinpointing all of the bad stuff, right? Carlos. Do you pinpoint the good stuff? Carlos, yes, right, I then. do. They no, know I don't. pinpoint the good no, stuff. You don't. No, you I don't. I just said no, you don't. how much I appreciate you in the last couple videos. Oh, man. man and how forgot, much you have you been helpful all about that, huh? during my pregnancy. You forgot all about that, huh? No, I'm talking What'd about today. Say? No, I don't say today. I'm talking about today. So it's a new day. So now you in here acting out. Today changed the overall outcome. Yeah, changed the overall you outcome. damn right it did. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yes. I gotta stand I'm tired, stand. and so you're going to get the tired energy. Okay. It's what I got to deal with. What time I go to bed last night? I don't know what time you went to bed, but that ain't got nothing to do up? with me. What time I wake up? That ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. All right. You know what time I went to bed last night? Early. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Because I'm tired, and my baby in here is trying to grow and do what he got to do. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. So that's why it ain't nothing to do with me. That ain't nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing on my nerve. to do with me. Ain't he annoying? Ain't he? Y'all heard him. He gonna put the food up. You ain't gonna start it. happening. You ain't gonna start cooking it. Carlos, so you won't be hungry tonight. At this point, <laughs> you enjoying yourself a little too much. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Do what I'm doing. You think I need your help doing this? No, I'm not doing nothing backwards. I got this. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay, then move out my way then. So I can work on something else. Y'all, I appreciate y'all coming and being a part of the live today, but I've had enough. What? And now it's time for me to go sit down. Nah, I'm going get off. I got the vacuum in my house. I'm about to set it up for the, for the front room so she can talk to y'all. You want me to set it up for you, baby? Oh, I don't do nothing. Never mind. Carlos, can you do me a favor? What? And go over there and clean up your mess that you got over there. You see all that stuff over there? That's, That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's what, that, that, and it's in a bag, and it's not bothering you. And it was sitting in that chair before you threw it on the floor. I didn't throw it on the floor. Okay, to pick it up, because it, it was in a chair. Well, I'm putting it in the chair. And then how about you just leave me alone? Okay? And clean up your mess off that table. You seen that chick? Yeah, I said it. Right up there. Right yeah. up there. Right up there. Where you just set them, them things on top of it. Any more questions? Because you on, you on your last one for the night. You just balled it up. Now you know that's how that chick look. <laughs> you on your last question for the night. Yeah. 
That's it. No more. No more. I ain't got no more. Lemons over there on that table. That's it. Oh, that's a question, my bad. Carlos, leave me alone for real. You think this shit is a game? I ain't playing no damn game with you. Not one. Let's start this way. You gotta tell them the truth, though. Carlos, what did I just say? I'm gonna you when you start doing too much. What did I just say? To leave me alone. Right. Say nothing else. Right. Let me just mind my business. Carlos, leave me alone. You done over here? Yeah. You know, cuss me out because I don't want to cook. This is crazy. Yep, you're right. What did they say? They said you got a big head, and they should call you drug head. I don't know what they said. Yep, it's down to the gristle. Yeah, I don't know. Miss Sharon tried to, she tried to say something slick the other day. Miss Sharon was like, oh, we know that baby going to have a big head. And I got to thinking, I should have said, yeah, because it run all through his family. Look at his mama, his aunties, his, his, his grandmas. His, look, look at them. They all got jug heads. Look at them. Peace. She was trying to come for me, though. Peace, love. Let me clean my diffuser out. Man, this water needs some lemons. I'm He's just getting up, y'all. Now he want to move around, too. Baby ready to eat. So I'm about to have to go. Figure out what I'm going to feed my son. Hey, hey. He, he, he know who's supposed to cook. I wish y'all could just see this man right now. Because he's really... But I'm not going to, that's it. I'm not even going to let him work it at this point. Because he done worked it down to the gristle, so it ain't shit left for him to stand on. So I'm just not even going. I'm just not. Man, crazy. 
you know. Ooh, child. All right, y'all. Well, I got some stuff I need to be trying to figure out with this baby's room and his little nursery. What you gotta figure out? Um, but as soon as I figure it out, I'm gonna keep looking and keep trying to, um, it's probably gonna come back around to something that y'all already suggested. Yes, girl, down to the gristle. It's probably gonna come back around to something y'all already suggested, but maybe I'm just being picky right now. And can't make my mind up. It's been like that since we moved in here, Carlos. Man, we gotta make sure we let them know. They try to say, well, y'all brought the stool. They know that stove ain't closed, by the way. Yeah, but if we don't report it to them before we get about here, yeah, they might try to say, you want y'all to pay for it, room. everything I'll probably be back um, to show y'all what the new stuff that we get that's coming in for baby from all of you and um, I know somebody on my last video said that they really wanted to meet my brother that can definitely happen so the next time I get with him which may be this weekend or sometime this later in this week I will definitely come on live so y'all can meet him. He is my older brother. Yeah, her, dad, her brother's much cooler than Pops. I was like, bro, man, cool. You know what I'm saying? You met my daddy? Of course I met your dad. When? The day I was like, he was like, yeah, I'm going to come out there and see y'all. And I was like, yeah, make sure you really come. And I was just be saying it. He was like, no, I'm serious. I'm going to come. Oh, yeah. Didn't never came. <laughs> Like, damn, <laughs> that had been a cold player for a long time. Absolutely. He has. Can't All right, see? Can't knock him for that. All right, I'm going to put some. Shout out to all the people that made it without a father. Because we know your mama wasn't going to let you down. Yeah, the moms never let them let them down, do they? Not not all the time. Sometimes. Yeah, some situations, mama will let you down, but you'd be like, "What?" The most of the time. Why are you having kids? Mom? Mom play that role, honey, all the way to the end, till it ain't nothing left. Till it ain't nothing left to do. Okay, let me clean out this last part. I move so slow. What would normally take me an hour to do something takes me three. It just, it just does. Like, I be thinking I'm moving fast, but I'm really not. I'm moving spidey, man. Spidey slow. Sloth slow, I should say. But, all right, I'm not gonna hold y'all up on here. I'm doing nothing for real. So, I hope all of you enjoy your night, spend some time with family, have somebody cook for y'all, or cook for yourself. Preferably your old lady, if you got one. Or cook for yourself, if, if you, you have to. Lady, if you like me, you have to. If you the old lady, if you the old lady, you probably should go ahead and cook. And go ahead, and you probably already cooking. What you cooking? Let us know. Let me see what y'all cooking. I want to know. Don't you need to know what they cooking for? See, you don't even know what we eating over here. Give you some ideas. Give you some ideas. You know, I'm trying to see what they what they got going on. So we'll give you some ideas so we can get something cooked up in here. That we need some food. We need some food cooked. That we got. We got a lot of food. Now we just need pots and pans. 
nice and warm to get it cooked. <laughs> Bro, I'm at the gristle, so I ain't got nothing left for him. But they ain't saying all y'all doing laughing. Y'all ain't putting Ooh, what y'all cook. Ooh, grilled food. What grilled you, food. What you got? That's what I'm talking about. What you got? What, what, what y'all got? Shoot, I'm, I'm about to come to y'all house. I mean, my house ain't ain't cooking tonight. My house is not cooking tonight. I'm glad y'all think he's funny. Y'all got a pallet for him in a bed. Nah. In a closet so he can move all his stuff in. And, a plate. and he got a bunch of junk. And a plate. I'll and make sure he got a plate too. I'm, I, I, so he can eat. I pay the rent too. I was fooling around and pay the rent or something. I, I'm just hungry now. Potato salad, corn on cob, baked beans. Yeah, you pay the rent. Going. Come get them. I'm going to sleep in that car. Matter of fact, he got his own oh. whip, so he can even oh, come pull up. Oh, he got ribs, Lachey? Woo! Ribs and chicken. Woo! Your stomach finna go down through there. She got ribs. Off the grill. That sounds good. steak, baked potatoes, and broccoli. Dear, don't say that. Don't you say you got baked potatoes and broccoli with salmon. And you cooking that or your husband doing that? Let us know. Somebody's sleeping outside. I call them some in. What you at? What they say? Oh, snap. Oh, I hit the dang on somebody sleeping outside. Nerves. No, I'm not working the nerves. I'm trying to let her see the light. See, sometimes it be dark in the room. You got to go over to the switch and cut it up. You know what I'm saying? So all you gotta just hit that switch, that light come on, and then it's bright in the room. And then everything you can see. See, cause I was blind, but now I can see. Everybody say amen. Amen. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I might be a chef, but guess what? You don't see no white hat on. What you see a bucket hat. Most of the time you see somebody with a bucket hat, what they doing? They chilling. So right now, I'm chilling low. So I ain't popping low at this moment. That makes sense. I ain't pop loose. Not today. Not tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I was pop loose earlier when we were grocery shopping. I was. That was teamwork. That that's Papa. But now, yeah. I'm trying to see with Mama. And I call her Mama all the time. That that's really her, that's her name. I try to get her used to. What it's gonna be like, you know? I say, Mama. I thought that maybe that would click some strings or something. Could have had dinner completed. Dear, you know what? I I like the way you think. You say, I'm gonna send the address. You go ahead and shoot her an email. You need some cash out, we cash out for some gas money to get here. You say you're gonna go ahead and cook for us or something. You, let me read your comment. Dear said. She said the time that we been on here, she would have came and cooked for us and had dinner completed. I really appreciate that, dear. <laughs> Teamwork make the dream work. Help mama out. Y'all funny. <laughs> Y'all think I'm funny, no? Y'all funny. Y'all are funny. just feeding his fire. He enjoys y'all so much. Yeah, they ain't. They ain't. From the time they wake up, to the time you think they sleep, but they ain't sleep. They gotta go pee. All right, y'all. I'm gone. Cause now I really got to sit down. There you go. My back is hurting. You need to tell them what you about to cook. Carlos. I'm gonna leave you alone. Let me show y'all what he about to do. Yeah, show me. Let me show y'all what he about to do. About to study. About to study. What's this study time? Yeah, you better clean the damn table off. I ain't cleaning that. Everything's sitting right here. All right, y'all. Can you get this bag and stuff out the floor? How did this even come back in here? What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, I swear. I swear to you. It's like, this is not going to... I promise you. My son, nothing like it. Nothing like it. You had the greatest son in the world. Nothing like it. The best son on earth. You're going to take out <sighs> You're going to have the best son on earth. 
Who? I, don't you got stuff you need to do? So why you keep coming back over here? Cause you keep saying the smart stuff. I'm talking to my I'm talking to my viewers yeah, and my family. I'm not talking to you. They talking to me, so I'm trying to. I'm they trying not talking to, to you. They done with you today. They not. Nobody said that they're done. Let me see. Nobody said we done with Carlos. Nope. Carlos should have been a comedian. Yeah, he should have been something. I'm working on it, y'all. I was thinking about trying to trying to write me a little stand up for this little event that Queer got. I was at the stoplight and I was thinking, I was like, man, you know, I could get up there and start free speaking and that shit could go left really fast, but. And they'll I be could. staring at his ass. Yeah, it'd be crickets and stuff. We're going to be outside. I don't want to see crickets. That probably. Yeah. But I'm going to get it together, y'all. You know, if you can get up there, they get up there and say. They say the same thing they said somewhere else, and they got the same reaction, and they just do it over and over and over. So, once it's golden, it's gonna be golden. Once it's golden. All right. Y'all have a good night. Enjoy your families. I'm about to sit right here and relax for a second, and then fix something to eat. I'm about to call one of my friends and see what they old lady cooking with. Vacuum this floor. See if I can come get a plate. Oh, man. Call Malcolm. See Malcolm. Malcolm. Who is talking to you? I'm talking to them. No, you're not talking to them. They're not talking to you. They're not worried about you. They're not even they're not even engaging with Don't you right now. Feelings, Don't hurt my feelings. Don't hurt your feelings? Right. You don't work my feelings and my nerve down to the gristle, and you think I'm not gonna hurt your feelings? Oh, so now you saying I hurt your? I didn't hurt your feelings. Carlos, you worked. You told a pregnant woman to who loves to eat when it's time. Right. While we were in the grocery store today, that you were gonna cook some food. And you know what you told me? That I asked you to cook. Room. Let me get on your room. You know what you told me? And you know what you did? You, know you, know told, you told me, me? yes. Whatever Look. you want, baby. Get home. Nah, we and back. now it's a different story. Nah, we story. back. Y'all, nah, y'all want to, she ain't finna do me like that. Because I ain't do her like that. We was in the store. She was by the sushi. I said, baby, don't pick up the sushi because that ain't going to fill you up. And you know what she said? That, you She's, know what time I, that was? I, I, listen, whoop, 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 whoop. listen, she said, baby, every time I eat this sushi, it fills me up. Baby, where's the sushi at? I ate it at three o'clock. Three o'clock, baby. We've been home for every I bit ate of it at three o'clock. We've we've been home for about an hour and some change. I ate it at three o'clock. Three o'clock. It's time to eat again. Oh, I can figure out what time we what time. Here we go. Five twenty. And I ate that at the time we didn't get home so that 529. I. And I ate that at the time so that I. Well, how many stores did we go to? We didn't get home to five twenty nine. What time do we leave out of the store? In, in, Look, um, out of Harris Teeter. That's five twenty nine, baby. So you ate the sushi at five twenty nine. No, I did not eat the sushi at five twenty nine. You didn't eat it till we got home, right? No, I ate it while I was. You didn't see me in the car. You didn't see me coming here with that empty sushi bag. I thought you ate it when you got here. But that didn't, it filled you up for a moment. Yeah, and just so y'all know, it wasn't sushi. It was the vegetable roll. The sushi. With the carrots. Okay, that probably burned through fast. Avocado and something else in it. In the rice. Wrapped in the rice. That's it. So it don't hold. It don't hold. But I ate that earlier today. It's been five hours since then. And you trying to tell me I'm not hungry again? Five and I'm eating hours. for two? Five. It hasn't been five I'm supposed hours. to be eating an extra 350 calories it during my third trimester. Do you think hours. I'm eating an extra 350 I calories? Four hours. Leave me alone at this point, for real. I be try People be like feeding the baby. I heard the baby eat from the bloodstream. He get all his nutrients and stuff. Well, right now, his shit is dry. It's dried out. It's dry. It's real dry. It's bare to the fucking bone. I'm going to go get him. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go get him one of them. Uh, and he don't want you to go get him anything. He don't want to sell he don't want you to go get him anything. <laughs> him. All right, no sandwich. No sandwich. None of that. He he, he, want, he, want, he want the real thing. Bye, right. y'all. Hot meal. That's what your son want. Bye, y'all. And you mama. See y'all later. No, 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 no. Don't get him out of here. Have a good night. Don't get him out of here now. They need to know. 
I don't want you to be like, oh. Have a good night. I'm about to order me some soup. Carlos never cooks. From the foe. And go pick it up. For so, real. peace, everybody. Plus, I got paid today, so I can eat good on my own time. No, you can't. No, you can't. We need to order something, but it ain't. Well, about to go. All right, you don't Feed my me. baby. Peace. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Oh, my favorite woman just came in the building. Y'all really got to tap into her videos. Y'all got to tap into Just Simply Rose videos. I love her cleaning videos. Just Simply Rose. And she's been changing her house around. And, I mean, it's so beautiful the way she decorates her stuff. I just love it. But we love you, too. I'm about to get off of here. Well, actually, she cooking tonight. We can go... If you would tell me to ask another subscriber <laughs> if they cooking tonight, I'm Carlos. Glad, baby. Don't get upset about that. You're not gonna cook, so don't tell me that you're just I playing. I will cook if you really want me to. As soon as I hang this up, you're gonna be telling me to order from somewhere because Ladarius is about to come over here. You about to do music for five hours. All you gotta do is boil that rice. I'm not boiling anything with you. All you gotta do is boil that I'm about rice. to go get me something to eat. Look, so I'm not even worried about it. And let me get off of here so I have time to go pick it up rice. while they still open. I'm do everything else. All right, love y'all so much. Teamwork. See y'all in another video. Oh, y'all can still um, send me videos and um, chat with sis off of here. You know, my regulars. So, Celestial. So, I love the videos you've been sending late, lately. Allowing me to tap in. So, please. She don't send me no videos. Please. And y'all can email me too. Because I ain't about to be doing nothing no, but going to get my food. Special, so. All right, bye y'all. If I can hang it up.